Good Friday morning. We're in Capitan, New Mexico, where it is exactly 37 degrees. Alexa, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? Right now, in Capitan, New Mexico, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Wrong! Today, expect a high of 70 degrees. The high might be right, but the low is zero. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan, it's currently 49 degrees. <laughs> That's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, Lord. I mean, you know, it, you know, it, if people rely on, on temperatures like that to make decisions, enough said. Move along, Rusty. Today is Beer 30, Friday. Beer 30 sanity session, so get your sanity ready. Because we're going to talk about something. We got a lot of suggestions. And then what else coming up later? I got another soft, easy listening video coming up. Nothing big. Just a little something I do every day to keep y'all, I don't know, somewhat entertained, I guess. But anyway, <clears throat> today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, and right now just went right on by. So, get busy doing something if you want to, and then uh, never worry about what you cannot change, okay? Yeah, good habit to form. And when you're watching the news, say, could I change that if I really got busy? 99% of the time, you're going to find out you can't. <laughs> anyway, I, just for a little flyer yesterday, I, uh, I bought some stock. <clears throat> That's something I don't normally do. But anyway, I've been following one for a while, and I thought, you know, <laughs> this is a, this thing is saying, buy me, buy me. But anyway, you got to remember, and I know I used to be a, a licensed broker, Series 763 and all that stuff way back when, and I know it's like Las Vegas, I'm telling you. Now, particularly, there's no humans involved. It's all uh, done by algorithms and computers. <laughs> you know, they're going in and out thousand times a day you can't do that mm -mm. no you try buying and selling in the same day and see what happens to you no that ain't gonna happen they're not gonna let you and before market and after market no <laughs> it, it's it's a pure gamble i'm not gonna tell you what stock it was and i don't need any tips i don't need any financial planning advice i just i took some money and i thought well i'll try to make enough to pay for my rv cover and when i get that out of there i'll, I'll, I'll get out <clears throat> and plus taxes, you know, because I'll have a short-term gain. But anyway, what else? I've uh, been living in an RV a long time. Everybody knows that. And then what else? We got, got the old goat here. Let's get a goat kiss out of the way. There's the old screaming goat giving you a goat kiss. And now we can move along to comments. That's why we're here. Why are you here? I don't know. <clears throat> Okay, Deborah McKinney says, I remember this place from your earlier videos. I don't know. Well, I don't remember it. Deborah McKinney, thumbs up to you. That was the first drive in my new golf cart, commonly known as Neighborhood Vehicle. <clears throat> Monica Hurd says, where can you legally place one of these, though, on the tiny home Home Depot? I don't know, Monica. Check it out and see if you can find something. <clears throat> Matt Goulage says, or Goulage or whatever, uh, on the RV living stuff, a good video is always positive and motivational to get out and away from the doldrums of life's daily routines and change the scenery and enjoy the outdoors. Yeah, you can. Depends on where you go. You know, there, it, there's, there's a lot of beauty in the world. I mean, just, I did a video yesterday. I'll post it to probably tomorrow. <clears throat> I just happen to be in Ruidoso at a different area. I had some business to take care of. And uh, no, it uh, it was so scenic, I did a video with just a walking thing. Well, you'll see it, I guess, Saturday. RV Living with the Geezer. Check his channel out on YouTube. Very good advice, Rusty. After living full-time four years in my Jayco, I have a plan B for whatever happens. Adapt and keep taking one day at a time. That's all you can do. That's it. You know, wherever you are, you got to live. If you don't live, then... You ain't got to worry about anything. <clears throat> Jeez says adapt and overcome. That's about the way to do it, guys. Because, you know, just living takes up all of my time. Uh, anyway, Raccoon Little Bear. First, he, he, 
just revisiting your first video, my first video. Yeah, I put on there repost, but it's not. It, w it wouldn't repost. <laughs> I got to change that, I guess. Thank you, Raccoon Little Bear. This is Gabriel's Holistic Care. Good afternoon, Rusty, and the Rangers. May the 4th be with you. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, tomorrow's, today is Cinco de Mayo. I think they celebrate it tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. But no, Cinco de Mayo is today. And then the king of, the new king of England, King Charles, is is officially coronated tomorrow. <clears throat> they still have those old rituals across the pond. Uh, our law, the particle board is the weak link. Fails code in most places because of one entrance exit. Whatever. Don't buy it then. The Dogman Chronicles. Check his channel out on YouTube. Good advice. Thanks, Rusty. You're quite welcome. Poodle Professor. Check her channel out on YouTube. It's Jennifer, her dogs, Poodle Professor. I really want to hit the road, but too young for Medicare. Health insurance is so expensive. Trying to do the math. Online teaching doesn't pay much at all. <clears throat> well, let me say this. I went without health insurance for about 15 years, and it didn't bother me five cents. All you got to do is, help, is stay healthy and don't worry about it. You know, and, and what the hell, you know, here's the way I look at it. If, if I have a health issue, I go to, a, 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 and I don't have any health insurance, like a lot of people can't or don't and can't afford it. <clears throat> you go to, a, they're not going to refuse to take care of you because they don't refuse anybody. And then they'll send you a bill for $300,000 and just pay them off by the month. You just may have to live 300 years, that's all. Uh, Del V. Larkin, cutest thing I heard was a couple was a couple, but each with their own band. That way, each got some room. Yeah, you could do that. You know, if it was a couple, a man and a wife, each one could have their own transportation a van. Yeah, that'd be different. This is David Lewis. Uh, that's, that is where I, I, that is where, that is W-E-R-E am -E at. Okay? Uh, in this van build out, had the same thought pattern overcome take your time things seem to work out you're the man whatever you know no but the whole thing is if you're building an rv or you're just starting in whatever you you get just start and then there's you know it's not like you you're going out into the wilderness where there's nothing you ever hell there's a walmart or 50 miles alice smith buenos dias a todas Happy Cinco de Mayo from the City of Champions. Okay, uh, making homemade Spanish rice and enchiladas today. Well, good for you. Enjoy your day, Alice Smith, Alice's Restaurant. The Dogman Chronicles, good comment call. Thanks, Rusty. Thank you, Jim and the dogs. Check his channel out on YouTube, HWMO Liberty. Thank you, Mr. Rusty. You're welcome. Hang on one second. HWMO Liberty says, thank you, Mr. Rusty. I got that. Jack Turtle, thank you. Uh, pity you did not make a clip of the ladies' van and trailer, Rusty. Yeah, you know, can't be perfect. You wouldn't watch. Claire Walkosh or something like that. It would be easy to add an extra room onto it. That's the tiny home, Home Depot. It does need a back door in case of fire. You always want at least two ways out of anything. Well, you got plenty of windows there. Go out a window, you know. Just, if it doesn't have a door handle on it, doesn't mean you can't go out of it. You know what I mean? Or you can make a hole in the wall. I mean, hell. You know, Raccoon Little Bear, good video. As you have mentioned before, rent a van or a Class C for a month to see if it's a good lifestyle for you. Sure, yeah, check it out if you can. You know, if there's a place to rent and all that stuff. This is Brian. Uh, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Julie Shaw. Thumbs up to you. Sheridan Gay. Adapt to survive, then thrive. Oh, oh, I like that. As one gets the hang of a situation without quitting. Yeah, that's the whole key. Well, you know, it, but again, you know, you know, they say, you know, quitters never win and winners never quit. You know, we got all kind of cute little sayings, but don't let those things trap you into something. You know, you know if you get out on the road and you're not enjoying your life, <laughs> quit would I in a heartbeat you know it's my life you know what I mean 
and all these sayings are cute to stick on bumpers and t-shirts and all that crap, but that don't get you a good night's sleep. <clears throat> no, do what you got to do, man. Adapt, but enjoy your life. Uh, w. Thurman says, good to see you still walking. Glad you had company visit you. Three dogs seems like a lot to travel with, but I guess there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, there's a lot of people who travel. Well, they're, they're not big dogs, you know, but a lot of people travel with more than one dog. I'll say that. Uh, Charlie B. on the RV stuff. Yes, sir, that lady got the setup. I, li I live out of my fifth wheel camper and absolutely love it. So much cheaper than rent or owning and maintaining a home base these days. Now, landlords have all types of rules. No pets or 250 pet deposit and $50 a month per pet. I enjoy living out of a camper as a lot of folks do. Take care. Yeah, you know, again, it depends, it depends on your individual lifestyle. You know what I mean? <clears throat> if you, uh, it just depends on you, whatever you want to do. Uh, this person's name is what? Ken P.A. Or Ken Paul. <laughs> uh, cool. My tip would be to not put too much stuff in any RV. RV. <clears throat> it's already a small space and shouldn't be made smaller. People build out with cabinets and wood. You know, people do. It says if you, well, yeah, do what you got to do. You know, just, uh. If, you, if we're going to live in a vehicle, keep it that way instead of trying to make it like a house. Yeah, well, you know, that's the tendency is everybody does what they do. You know, they're doing them and you're doing you. NB, delicious, yum, yum on the BLT from Dave's and Cloudcroft. Thank you. Boondocking with Dennis. Check his channel out on YouTube. Good afternoon, Rusty. I really enjoyed the walk and talk. Blue skies are amazing. Yeah, we got them right now, too. It's beautiful out there. And, you know, it says something about a wind thing today. It's dead calm out there. Now, what that probably means is the wind's fixing to get up. <clears throat> Maybe. I don't know. NB, Rusty, good video talk and walk like always. Well, thank you very much. Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, D Dennis again. Good morning, Rusty. It's halfway done, but my day has been a good one so far. Thanks for the advice. Whatever. Basically, basically all I'm saying is enjoy your day. Uh, this is Eileen Tool. She says, BRW. Alexa, what does BRW mean? Wiley Postville Rogers Memorial Airport, often referred to as Post slash Rogers Memorial, is a public airport located in Alexa, the Alexa, stop. Enjoy, Eileen Tool, enjoy your... Enjoy your and P Poodle Professor driving videos. She seems to drive faster than you. Well, pr probably everybody on the highway is driving faster than me. And uh, Poodle Professor replied, said, that's funny. <clears throat> funny. Anyway, Grace Rascone says, I thought I had a propane leak, but Tex said it could be my sewer hose, a dead animal, or the algae in my pond. Could be, I guess. I'll start with my hose connection. Thank you, Rusty. Well, whatever. I don't know what I did. Thank you, though. Scotty Thompson. Nice orange shirt, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Enjoy your day. Cool comment call. Cool video talk. Thank you, thank you. Louis Paparella, as you've opined. That's a good word. Good $5 word. To get where you want to go, first you got to start. Yeah, it's true. Longest journey begins with a single step, hopefully in the right direction. <clears throat> Curtis Sorg says, love your t-shirt this morning. I wear the same thing when I ride my electric bike. Yeah, you want to be seen, you know, when you're out, on, out there exercising or whatever. Sashi Smith, hi, Rusty, beautiful walk and share. Thank you, Sashi Smith. Wayman Samang, beer and bacon. Good day, Rusty, good day to you. Eileen Tool, here you go again. If you like corn on the cob, you don't need to peel it, then boil it. You just cut off, cu you just cut off end part that contains no corn. Microwave for three minutes. Let corn sit in microwave for a minute. Now you peel and enjoy. For those of you that eat corn on the cob, you just found a new way to do it. We'll do a few more here. <clears throat> Friday, Friday, guys, TGIF, got a weekend coming up, cakes on the griddle, Friday night, beer 30, life couldn't be any better. 
Lori Van Huser, thumbs up to you. Randy Hill, hey, hey, Rusty, you're right. Nothing better than mean politics being delivered by a girl in a bikini. Whatever, you know, whatever, you know. Uh, it, you know, let's face it. I mean, if if uh, you know, beauty is rare. Okay, let's let's that's a fact. It, you know, beautiful people or you know perfectly formed people are very rare. Uh, I, you may not notice it, but go to the grocery store or or Walmart, and as you're shopping, see how many perfectly formed people you see. It's going to be one in a hundred. <clears throat> so. If a girl happens to have won that one in a hundred lottery, then I'd say put yourself in a bikini and get you a YouTube channel walking around in a circle. You'll make a hundred thousand a year. <clears throat> Deb says, just saw a YouTube video that someone had a road trek, hated the bed, loved the van, so they bought a small trailer to, to sleep in and take showers. Where there's a will, there's a way. Well, you know, everybody, but it all depends on your financial limitations. You know, if, you do, if you're unlimited budget, you can do a lot of cute things. But if you're living hand to mouth, you can't do all that crap. A Edie Johnson, uh, we're getting, do two or three more. One of the things I've always liked about you and your channel, you keep encouraging and inspiring people to get out and try the RVing in, in life and to adapt as needed. Thank you for what you do, Rusty. Well, yeah, but here's the thing, the catch-22. You know, you know, I may be pointing out some ways to do it, but when you get out there, you're on your own, man. I mean, you know, it, if you don't like it, what I say, if you don't like it, go back to what you had before, you know. You know you're not stuck out there, you know. Stephen Greco, hi, Rusty. I love your Chevy Bolt. It sounds so quiet and smooth. It is great for you. You just charge it at both of your home bases, great idea, take care. Yeah, that's right. I, I've never gone, well, I, I have gone to a charging station. I did a couple of times just to see if it would work, and it did. Uh, Rachel Horn, I see a, I see the sign says used. I wonder what it would cost. I wonder what it would cost used. I don't know. I think this is what happens. This. I think this is what people are going to be living in in about 10 years. That's on the could you live in a storage building. Uh uh, Rachel Holmes says, I would love to have this little house. Sure, a lot of people would, but because they don't have anything. Tracy Phillips says, great comment call. Alvin Masso, great video. James Ortiz asked, what's her name to say, hey, what's his name to see what happens? Yeah, I hear you. Falcon Eddie's, this is the last one, uh, your analogy of going to Mars is like saving the Atlantic is a bit Dr. Seuss. I still fail to see the benefit. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just history. I mean, is it true? I don't know. Whatever, you know, uh, it's just whatever I said, don't take it personally. Anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm going to end the video now. <laughs> Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos why because it doesn't cost you a penny just click on the link go to amazon buy whatever you want then what else drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you it's good for you it'll help you avoid gout kidney stone and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in what snack correct correct anyway my nose itching and then what else take deep breaths Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day, and then what else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll live longer, healthier because of that. That's it. Then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons in there forming neural links, which is every single thought, dream, memory you've ever had. So give your neurons something positive to work with. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Oh, uh, at ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye. Oh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye. Hasta luego, vaya, Aloha, until we meet again. Carry on.
Beer 30 this evening. Adios. Bye-bye.